Welcome back to our channel. If you're passionate about global defense, advanced technology, and the rising power of nations like India, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into a big question. Why doesn't India buy the F-35 Lightning II, the world's most advanced fighter jet? Let's break it down. The F-35 is the crown jewel of American air power. Stealthy, intelligent, deadly, it's the most expensive weapons project in history. So why has India, a growing military superpower, shown little interest in buying it? The answer isn't simple, but it's fascinating. Let's get into it. 1. The F-35A Technological Marvel The F-35 Lightning II is a fifth-generation stealth fighter built by Lockheed Martin. It features radar-evading stealth, supersonic speed, sensor fusion, and unmatched situational awareness. There are three variants, F-35A, conventional, F-35B, short takeoff slash vertical landing, and F-35C, carrier-based. The jet connects to satellites, drones, and ground units in real time. In short, it's a flying supercomputer. So again, why not buy it? 2. India's unique needs. India operates in one of the most complex threat environments in the world, with challenges from both China and Pakistan. But India's geography and strategy demand a mix of fighters. High altitude performance for Himalayan borders, long range strike for Indian Ocean defense, multi role adaptability for diverse missions. The F 35 excels in air dominance and stealth missions, but India wants versatility at a sustainable cost. 3. Strategic autonomy. India follows a policy of strategic autonomy. It avoids relying too heavily on one country for critical military hardware. While India is a close partner of the US, it also imports weapons from Russia, France, and Israel. Buying the F-35 could increase India's dependence on the U.S., something New Delhi wants to avoid. 4. Price and Maintenance The F-35 is very expensive. Each unit costs around $80 million, but the real issue is long-term support. Its maintenance and upgrade ecosystem is deeply tied to U.S. infrastructure and software. India would have limited control over the jet's inner workings, and costs would skyrocket over its lifetime. 5. Compatibility and Infrastructure the F-35 requires special maintenance facilities, advanced data systems, and secure communication channels. India would need to completely revamp its bases to operate even a small fleet of F-35s. Compare that to the Su-30 MKIs, Rafales, or even the upcoming Tejas MK-2, all of which integrate better with India's current ecosystem. 6. The Indigenous Push India is investing heavily in self-reliance under the Atmanirbhar Bharat Initiative. The HAL Tejas AMCA, Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, and various unmanned systems are in the works. Buying F 35s might undermine India's own defense industry growth and long term vision. Conclusion It's not that the F 35 isn't impressive, it's that India has different priorities flexibility, cost efficiency, and defense independence. For now, India is focused on upgrading its current fleet and developing next gen fighters at home. What do you think? Should India consider the F-35 in the future? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you learned something new today, give this video a like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into defense, tech, and strategy. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.